Hey alright, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host Jan. I hope you lot are doing well and welcome back to another video which is a Chelsea transfer news update video thing. You know the drill. Three main stories today, a potential Chelsea outgoing in the form of a centre-back. It's been reported Chelsea have agreed terms with the French striker Moussa Dembele to come to Chelsea to be the second striker behind Tammy Abraham. And Chelsea have been heavily linked with a midfielder that there is no reason why they should want him. <laughs> and Sky Sports have been reporting on that. Maybe it's all nonsense. We'll get into it. But before we do get into today's content, I want to remind you there to subscribe to Football Therapy. If you've not yet done so, please do subscribe, hit the bell notifications icon. Why not like this video? All right then, Chelsea news. First up, let's talk about Chelsea centre-back Andreas Christensen. I've always maintained here on Football Therapy that out of the four centre-backs, if one was to suffer and see the exit due to Chelsea's desire to bring in a new centre-back, for me, it was always going to be Andreas Christensen. I like all of Chelsea's centre-backs. Rudiger, Tamori, Christensen and Zuma. But Christensen does seem like the other one out in terms of physicality and not necessarily being able to keep up with the physical pace of the Premier League. Very talented and technical footballer, but for me he always seemed like the old one out in terms of dealing with this level. And it's proved that Frank Lampard does feel the same way in terms of how little he's used the Danish international. Now Chelsea have obviously been heavily, heavily, heavily linked with buying a centre-back this January transfer window. It's rumoured to be Nathan Ake for the 40 million release clause or buyback clause, even though there's that rumour that has been going round that Chelsea are very interested in a 50 million pound signing from a rival Premier League team. Again, just hearsay from that Sky Sports pundit saying that Chelsea are confident they can get a centre-back deal done for, from this rival club for 50 million. That can't be okay unless people are adding a 10 million, you know, admin fee onto the 40 million buyback clause and when they say Premier League rival you assume it's going to be someone near you at that sort of same part of the table not relegation candidates Bournemouth. Still I digress Chelsea are very much in for a centre half so one really needs to get out the door if you're playing a two back system generally you need four starting rotational centre backs. Enter AC Milan who are interested in getting young Andreas Christensen. This story sort of broke about a day or two ago but it's been picking up momentum ever since. To be honest, I can see it happening, whether it's AC Milan or not. I mean, Milan are a good club, they're a big club, prestigious, obviously. And whether it would be an immediate permanent deal or a loan with the ability to purchase Andreas Christensen, I'm not sure. But if Chelsea do indeed bring someone in, it does look likely that Christensen could be the man on the way out. All right, I've got my phone out for this one. So this broke yesterday. Sky Sports came out with the new story of Chelsea have made an offer for, for Benfica midfielder Gedson Fernandez, believed to be an 18 month loan deal with the obligation to buy for 55 million pounds. And that deal apparently, this is how sort of detailed this transfer rumor was. It came out on Sky Sports, the guy said it as gospel, but he was saying, oh yeah, if they play more than 50% of the games within that 18 month loan period, they are obligated to buy him for 55 million pounds. A very complex and peculiar deal for a player who's also heavily linked to West Ham, who would be doing a similar move, an 18 month loan deal with an obligation to buy, but for 33 million as opposed to 55 million. So there's obviously been a very, if true, particular deal structured in place that's mandatory for the loan of Fernandez. So now I've explained to you the peculiar nature of this deal between either Chelsea Benfica or West Ham and Benfica and a peculiar bidding war with again just a complex deal let's talk about the player chelsea don't need another central midfielder before we even get into this sure i get it he might have high potential on football manager but if you look at his stats the last season in liga nosh in portugal he's not actually doing anything he's not assisting scoring he's not performing people are obviously looking at him in training like oh wicked I want him, have the best part of 60 million pounds for this player who's not really done anything and on that on the back of an 18 month loan deal it's all very peculiar. Sure there might be some security in the loan deal structure or maybe not, maybe it's like something that Benfica want but regardless 
Chelsea is stacked for midfield. They've got Kovacic, Jorginho, N'Golo Kante, Mason Mount, uh, Ruben Loftus-Cheek to return. We even got the likes of, you know, Billy Gilmore, who's highly rated, and Tino Andrian to come through. They've just got loads of midfielders, man. Even like Pulisic can play in the 10. You know, Reese James can play in defensive midfield. Ampadu might come back. He's a really interesting, highly rated prospect that Frank Lampard's talked about himself before. So why the hell would Chelsea buy this player? I mean, to me, I like despair really, but you know what? Maybe trust the club. Maybe he's an absolute bad boy of a player and he's gonna be one of the elite midfielders for the next 10, 12, 15 years. And that's why Chelsea are being incredibly smart in acquiring him but for me i don't really feel that and for me that's not a priority this january transfer window it's more of a center half backup striker maybe a winger to replace pedro you catch my drift so although sky sports came on heavy with this story they've backed up a little bit they've gone from chelsea are in talks with this complex deal to chelsea have expressed interest so sky sports have backed off as well to me it's a nonsense i don't think chelsea are in for him i kind of got the Isco and Milinkovic Savic links because Chelsea do need that kind of player that can play between the lines as well as play out wide on the flanks anyway like Milinkovic Savic or Isco but this kid makes no sense whatsoever so moving on right let's talk about the French striker Moussa Dembele the Lyon centre forward who's got 10 league goals or 12 goals in all competitions this season looks okay pretty decent probably fits the profile of a second striker to play behind Tammy Abraham while putting a little bit of pressure on him at the same time not undermining his authority as Chelsea's starting number nine. Sounds good, right? The Lyon president has confirmed the interest is real, people, and bids have been made for the player. This is not a rumour just plucked out the ether. This very much exists. Confirmed interest. Chelsea have come in with offers, trying to negotiate, maybe even bringing Olivier Giroud into the deal. Now, it has been reported that Chelsea and indeed the centre forward Dembele have come to or agreed personal terms and he'd want to come to Chelsea and fulfil the role that they'd want him to play or fulfil. Now, <laughs> I don't want to get into the rule breaking of tapping up because this very much sounds like tapping up when he's under contract and when also Leon have come out themselves and said he's not going in January, we need him, like maybe we'll make a few quid on him in the summer, but right now he's not going anywhere, so stop it, stop talking about it, stop it. Chelsea are like, yeah mate, we want him, come back, come back, there you got some money, see, Giroud, World Cup winner, he's handsome, look at his beard, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean surely that's so how all football clubs negotiate. <laughs> yeah, anyway, it is very true that Chelsea are in for him and maybe the player wants to move. And it's kind of exciting in a way. I know it's not high profile. People want Timo Werner, but the truth is Timo Werner or Jadon Sancho, neither of them were going to happen in January. Um, and who knows, maybe Jadon Sancho still comes in the summer. Apparently Chelsea are very interested in bringing him in. And, and also Timo Werner, as amazing as he is an elite marksman, Maybe it is good to keep nurturing Tammy as the number one. He gets better and better and better. Obviously, has a very close relationship emotionally with Chelsea. So it makes a lot of sense for him to become, you know, the number one, the top star of Chelsea. Maybe even the jewel in the crown, like, you know, well, him and hudson Adoy and Mason Mount, all them lot. So it kind of does make sense to bring in a striker who fits the profile of what Frank Lampard wants, but won't expect to be playing all the top tier elite teams. But, you know, can expect to come on for Tammy Abraham when... Chelsea need a goal or play alongside him in certain games and definitely start other games in rotation in other competitions or if just Tammy Abraham gets injured because let's face it if Abraham gets injured Chelsea are up Boop. creek at the moment no swearing on this channel so it kind of makes sense uh, it's the same with Gabby goal apparently Chelsea aren't interested in him but he was trying to be flogged to Chelsea I think Inter are interested in a couple of Chelsea players so they want you know they were like waving around Gabby goal in front of Chelsea saying come on you fancy this but apparently Chelsea were like no we, we want Dembele so you're gonna trust the process you're gonna trust the club the scouting and you're gonna trust Frank Lampard in this instance he's the coach he's the one with the vision he's the one coaching the players and he knows what he wants for his team and if that's Moussa Dembele then go in for him boys go and get your player. If Chelsea end up buying a centre-back and Moussa Dembele this January transfer window, 
I personally would deem it successful. Even if Pedro goes, I think with Willian, Pulisic, hudson Adoy, and Mason Mount being able to play on the wing, Chelsea will have enough cover until the summer transfer window where perhaps they could go in again hard for Jadon Sancho. Anyway, that's what I think. What do you guys think? Get down in the comments below and let me know what you think of all the stories I've spoken of today. Do you agree with me that Christensen is probably the weakest out of the four centre-backs? I think he's very, very talented. Probably a better ball player than most of them, but in terms of physicality, and I feel like his head can drop or he apparently he's got a problem with becoming nervous before games which you can't have when you're playing for Chelsea. Do you agree he's the weakest out of the four and perhaps Ake would be an upgrade on Christensen in terms of how much Premier League football he's played? I'm inclined to think so. Do you think Gedson Fernandes is an absolute silly waste of money or do you know something that I don't know about the player and you think for £55 million pounds, even though he's done nothing, there's something I'm missing and actually he's a really good buy. And also express your thoughts on Moussa Dembele. I know lots of people in the comments are probably going to say, Hakim Ziyech, Hakim Ziyech, again and again and again. Yes, maybe that winger would be great, but if Chelsea are willing to hold out for Jadon Sancho, who they really want, that probably makes more sense. So get down in the comments, let me know your thoughts. Remember, if you've enjoyed the content today, please do like the video, subscribe if you are new to the channel. Follow me on social media at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter. Subscribe to my second channel, Yam Plays. Link is down in the top of the description. Enjoy the football, and I'll see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline the chalk. In my life, seen trouble. Hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger like my pick. Got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle. Bad boy, stay in trouble. I only love this paper. Sorry, I don't. I love me, baby.